So you want to make the bouncing logo thing. You think that's really cool, but you don't want to do it yourself manually because that'd be a lot of work. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. So I've made this expression. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to know how it works, but you just copy paste this in and it does it all for you. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go into the position here of your uh, object. Let's just make that a bit smaller. Like so. And then you're going to hold the Alt button and click this little stopwatch. And that's going to pop up the expression window. And then I'll have this code somewhere, probably in the description or something. Just paste that in. And you'll see it's all in there. And voila. It works. You got a bouncing logo. Very fancy. Uh, now, if you want to make it start in a specific position, because now we just have it here, I have um, these three variables, which you can customize yourself. So you got velocity, time offset, and initial position. So this is, uh, if we put this on zero, zero, then it will stop start in the top left corner. But if you want to have a custom position, the best way to probably do it is create a null object, get the position of that, and then you're going to select these square brackets, use this thing, which people call a pigtail. I don't know what that means, like that. And now you can have the custom starting position be where the null is. Ta-da! That works. And then um, if you want the color changing thing when it bounces on the walls, that's a pain to do, but I'll show you how to do it. So you go into your effects, search for color balance and get the color balance HLS. Drag that onto your object. And then here is the hue. So if you don't know what hue is, changes the color. Very nice, very fancy. And so we want that on our object. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Effects, Color Balance, Hue. Same as before, hold Alt, click the stopwatch, boom, pops up that little window. And now you have to do a little bit of manual coding here. So <laughs> bear with me, it's not that hard. You copy everything up to C. There you go. And then you find the other Hue one paste it just make this a bit bigger and so i'll just explain c is the amount of cycle so if you want the bounces that's going to be z0 and c1 in the x and y direction and then you want to shift the hue by some amount so like that hue shift and then at the end is the output how much you want it to be. So take bounces and multiply that with Q shift. And now if everything works, boom, it works. Very nice. It's changing colors. Now these other variables, uh, I have these, these three are all you have to worry about. Don't have to worry about these down here. V is the velocity. Pretty self-explanatory. If you put that up to a thousand, your boy is going to be bouncing around very fast. And if you put it down to like 50, now it's going very slow. And I may be seeing something, and that's the color is still changing incorrectly now. And that's because these two expressions are not connected, the hue and the position. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do this. I, I don't know. I don't think so. So if you change something here, like the velocity to 50, let's say to 100, then you also have to change the velocity of the hue shifting code to 100. And this also goes for the initial position thing too. And so if we check this now, even though it's going very slowly, the hue shifting is now synced up, so it works. All right, I don't know if there's anything else. Can't really think of anything. 
just send me a comment. Just ask me if there's you have any problems. Uh, oh yeah, there's like if you press this button, it should show you the future bounces. I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't know what I'm doing. Do not do not subscribe to this. But hope hope that worked.